What's up guys, it's Davey here from phonebuff.com and in this video I'm going to be doing what it looks like. I'm going to be scratching the iPhone 5 with a knife, I'm going to be dropping a hammer on it and also I'm going to be scratching it with my keys just to see how it fares. As you can see, this is the iPhone that I used for my drop test. I'm not going to destroy a whole nother iPhone. The screen still works of course, the back looks perfectly fine and the edges as well. But we're going to go ahead and see how the back fares first and then we'll finish off with the screen and you know see if this thing's going to get completely destroyed. So first we'll start with uh, the keys. So take one look at the back really quick. As you guys can see, it's pretty much scratchless. So let's see how well this anodized material actually fares. So scratching it really hard with my keys. And you can see there's a whole bunch of markings, but they wipe right off. So pretty good. I mean, it's a really tough material. I mean, this foam, like I said, is from the uh, scratched or the drop test. And the back looks perfectly fine, so the anodized material is definitely holding up again. I'll do it one more time. I'll do circles, and uh, I'm applying a lot of pressure, obviously. You can see a whole bunch of little circles I made. Again, it's wiping right off. So the uh, back of the iPhone 5, you know, the anodized material is really, really strong, really, really durable. Let's go ahead and try it with something a little bit sharper, though, right? Let's do a knife. So I'm just going to tap it like that. Maybe poke it a few times. Alright, so there's no way, you know, that's going to be wiped off. So you can see the scratches are there. I'm going to go ahead and try to see if it comes off. And, um, wow, I mean, for the most part, it is coming off. So it's doing really, really well in this uh, scratch. As you can see, that when I was kind of stabbing with the knife, those little holes are still there. They're not going to come off. I don't think so. So... I mean, still pretty good. I mean, you're never going to be doing that with your iPhone. Obviously, this is for the occasional drop, the occasional, you know, key scratch. Just want to show you how this phone's going to hold up. Um, pretty good. The back is pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the front now. So let's go ahead and turn off the display. Um, I'll do it on a part of the screen that isn't actually, you know, scratched up. So I'll do it on the bottom left. So I'll start with the keys. And I'm really scratching it as hard as I can, you know, without it falling out of my hand. All right, <clears throat> you can see the residue from all that scratching. Go ahead and see if I can wipe it off. And uh, looks pretty good. I mean, doesn't look bad at all. Um, we'll go ahead and try it with the knife now. So again, same area. And we'll do a little bit of stabbing. All right. Looks like I hit the home button, but the screen itself looks pretty good. Let's wipe it off with my shirt really quick. All right, so you can see it does look pretty good. I mean, um, not bad. I mean, there's I'm looking at you know in person. I'm not sure how well that's coming up on camera, but it is pretty uh, you know clean still. I mean, it doesn't look like it's scratched up at all. Uh, let's go ahead and you know try it one more time with the knife. So. Again, I'm gonna do that same area. Let's move this out of the way. So, you know what we'll do? We'll do it more at the angle, try to get the sharper part. Now, I'll do it off the screen too. Let's do the side here. Okay, so one thing I noticed on the side, uh, this part right here does, you know, easily get scuffed up. You know, the, every time with the knife I, you know, slashed down, it did make a little bit of a little uh, scuff right here you guys can see all those little bumps um, that's pretty much from the knife but the screen itself really good I mean it didn't really do anything so that definitely looks good let's go ahead and try to finish this guy off so um, before I do this you know let's look at the screen still working now I'm gonna get the hammer what you guys been waiting for and I'm gonna drop it from right over here this is about maybe six inches so I'm just gonna completely drop it and uh, you can see you got a little bit more shattered, but screen's still working, so let's try it again. And again, the glass broke just a little bit more, but hey, it's doing pretty good. This part of the screen isn't scratched or uh, cracked yet. Let's see what happens. And again, and again, and again. And uh, you guys saw, I mean, I <laughs> hit that thing really hard and it's really good. I mean, I'm, I'm 
really impressed by how Apple designs the iPhone. I mean, like I said, the scratch started with the drop test that I did the other day over here. Uh, it kind of spread when I did the hammer on this area. Obviously, it's going to be easier to spread. So maybe if this is a brand new iPhone, it wouldn't have done you know as bad right here. Let's go ahead and see if I could actually break this thing. All right, so I cracked it a little bit more, but the display is still working. All right, you know what? I'll just save that to it for another video, I guess, because it doesn't want to crack. I mean, the display won't stop working, so that's pretty impressive. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me in this video. I know it's kind of hard to watch, guys, but anyway, if you found this video helpful in any way, I mean, helpful in the sense that, hey, the iPhone could take some, you know, some damage, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.